Okay, in this video we're going to start working with tangencies, and in this particular case we're just going to look at the most basic type of tangent, which is the tangency between a line and a circle. And there, keep in mind there's there's other types of tangencies out there. There's um, tangents between two arcs, or tangents between two circles, there's tangents between planes and spheres, or lines and curves. Just So just keep in mind that there's there's more out there and we'll, we'll explore some of that other later but <clears throat> just right now let's work it on the basics um, but let me draw your attention to figure 4.4 4, um, in your technical drawing with engineering graphics text the 14th edition by Gusecki on page 125 on uh, figure 4.4 C you'll see a picture of a circle and a tangent line and you'll see that the tangent line forms a 90 degree angle with the radius of the circle. Okay, so the tangent line intersects the circle at a single point. Okay, um, so if it if it actually goes through uh, more than one point of a circle, or or goes uh, through two edges of the circle, it's not a tangent line. It has to go through uh, intersect the circle at a single point. Uh, so we're going to uh, discover how to how to do that in AutoCAD and also the geometric construction of it. Okay, so uh, on numbers 1 through 6 here I've asked you to construct a circle with a radius of um, of 1, I'm sorry I was reading the directions <coughs> at the top here, uh, a circle with a radius of 1 that is tangent uh, to the given lines at the given point. Okay, so the way that you would do that, um, there's of course different ways that you could do that, but the way I would recommend <coughs> is to use a deferred perpendicular snap. Okay, so let's use the line command, and to use the deferred perpendicular snap, before I specify the line's first point, I want to type in PER and then enter. Then I can click on the line and pull the line out. Okay. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't appear possible to uh, enter a direct distance. In other words, I can't define the line at 1, or at least I, I wasn't able to earlier. But just pull the line out any distance, as long as it's greater than 1. Well, actually, it doesn't even have to be greater than 1. Just just pull the line out uh, and then left-click. Okay. So this line is exactly 90 degrees to the, the given line. Okay. And then let's use the lengthen <coughs> command. Um, with the total option and let's specify the length at 1. So 1, enter, and then we'll click on the end of the line and now we have a line with a length of 1 as indicated in, in the properties panel. At this point we can move the line, so I'll uh, use the move command, click on the line, enter, I'll specify the end point of the line as the base point. Again, um, sometimes you can't get it to snap where you want to and you can do an override or you can just be patient and wait until you see the end point snap. Once you do, left click, then go down and um, you want to make sure your node snap is turned on and then click to the node. Once you've done that, you can just create the circle like we've been creating it. The center point will be at the end point of the line, the edge of the circle will be at the end point of the other line. Once you do that, you can erase that construction line. Okay, so what this has done, this has created a line, I mean a uh, circle that is tangent uh, to the given line at the given point. Okay, so this circle only intersects at a single point. By the way, sometimes when you zoom in, it'll look like the lines are separated uh, or blocky in appearance. Uh, the way to, uh, to, to make that correct is you can just type RE, which is regenerate, and then enter and you can see that it regenerates the screen so now it's uh, more as it should be okay alright so that's what you do with 1 through 6 um, then um, on 7 through 10 you're uh, supposed to create a uh, line that is tangent to the circle and uh, from the given point okay so each of these has two solutions. In other words, there's a tangent point on this side of the circle from this point, and then there's a, a, a tangent on this side of the circle from this point. Uh, you can use either side. You just make sure that you draw a line from the point to the circle, the tangent point of the circle, either on the top or the bottom. 
Okay, so let me show you how to do that. So let's use the line command, and we want to select the point as our first point, and now we want to select the tangent of the circle. And let's just do a one-time override. Uh, so I'll just type in T A N enter, and once I get near the edge of the circle, I should see the tangent uh, icon uh, light up. So once I do, I can just left click and it creates the tangent. So there's the tangent point on the top port part of this circle. There's also one on the bottom, just to show you. Go from the node. Again, we want to type TAN and then enter. And there's that tangent point. Okay, so each one of these will have two solutions, like I was saying. You can turn in either one uh, or both. I would be fine with you turning in both. So I hope this helps you out, and uh, that concludes this video.